Hi there and welcome to my video on reducing cognitive load in videos and presentations. If you are creating a video lesson or even doing a presentation, it is important to think of how much information a person can process at one time. So in my video I'll be talking about avoiding cognitive load, or in other words too much text, images and narration all at once in your presentations. Let's think about this a little more and talk about how the mind works. Humans have two separate channels or a dual channel in their brain to process information. One is to process verbal material or the things that you hear and the other is to process visual material or the things that you see. The problem is there is only a limited amount of processing capacity available in these verbal and visual channels. For learning to occur we require substantial cognitive processing in the verbal and visual channels. In other words, a lot is going on in your brain as you take things in through your eyes and through your ears. Because your eyes take in words and images, things can get a little confusing. So in a presentation or video, if there is too much to process, for example too much text, and too many images, your limited capacity comes into play, and you can't take it all in. Say for example you are watching a representation of how lightning works. And let's say there are images to represent parts of the process. And then loads of text added to explain the process. Now imagine someone talking over it too. Do you think you could take all that information in in a 30 second period? Well, the answer is probably not. What is happening here is called a split attention effect because the learner's attention is split between looking at the images and reading the text. Take a look at this screen. It looks fine if you consider it's in a textbook and you have time to look at it, right? But this is an online course for engineers. On the bottom right there is a timer which means the page lasts for about 10 seconds when it then moves on to this screen. And this moves on to the next and so on. Now imagine there is someone talking over all of this to try and explain it all in that set time frame. You would feel totally overwhelmed, right? This happens all the time with online videos and even PowerPoint presentations where the presenter has put too much information on the screen and then talks over it. For example, this slide represents our third quarter performance and you can see that the efficiency of our computer chip has increased and we've sold more units than our nearest competitor and we've made a profit of £245,870 in October and from this graph on the right here you can see... Hold on a second. Did you catch how much the cost reduction was? Did you take away any of the detailed information? It's too much all at once, right? You're experiencing cognitive load. Well, the good news is that there is a solution to this problem. Instead of using loads of text, you can present the words as narration and use simple images to demonstrate a point, much like I'm doing in this presentation. This means that the learner can listen to an explanation while at the same time watch the images and the diagrams. Use circles and arrows to highlight what you are referring to in any given moment and keep text to a minimum. So to summarise, when making video lessons or presentations, an effective way to ensure your learners retain what they are learning and avoid cognitive load is to keep things simple on your screen. Here are some final basic tips on all of this. Don't use too much information or text in one slide. Use clear and simple narration. Use simple images that are supportive of the narration. And finally, use arrows and circles for emphasis. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Good luck!